Hello Cancer, this is Renee and welcome to my channel. This reading is a general reading for Cancer, Sun, Moon, and Rising. If this reading resonates, please like and subscribe. Hit that bell so that you don't miss any uploads. And uh, take a look at your Sun, Moon, and Rising for a full message. Okay, Cancer, what do we have for Cancer? We have tears of joy and sadness. And we also have go with the flow. Okay, Cancer. The bottom we have rebirth and rejuvenation. So Cancer, I feel like you have some sort of new beginning coming through. You know, um, I feel like with this card of looking at joy, affirmations for joy and sadness, I feel like you've got a lot more joy in your life at the moment. Yeah, believe in yourself and unleash your inner unicorn. Definitely, Cancer. Beautiful energy. Your soul whispers love and your ego shouts fear. So yeah, I feel like there's a lot going on with Cancer right now. A lot going on with Cancer. Let's see, what else do we have for Cancer? What other energies do we have for Cancer right now? <clears throat> insecurity yeah so you may need to shine your light on your inner unicorn because you may be going through some insecurities right now you may be going through some kind of situation where you may need you may need to make some choices let's see what messages can the tarot bring cancer this is a general message. The Five of Swords. I feel like with this Five of Swords, there's a lack of communication. Yeah, you have the Ten of Wands. So, Cancer, I feel like... You're working on your priorities. I feel like you're in this mood where you just don't want to communicate too much. Um, but I feel like you have a lot on your table. Um, you may have just set down some burdens that you had. Um, you may have just paid off some debts is what I'm hearing. And I feel like that's taking a lot off of your plate. You may have paid bills or, or paid off a certain item. Maybe you paid off your car or, you know, some kind of big ticket item that you paid off. And it's actually freeing you up. It's making you feel like you're ahead of the game, finally, you know? Um, with this hangman, I'm really feeling like you've sacrificed so much, but now you're suddenly coming into this different perspective. Something is feeling like a weight that's been shifted. And with this Knight of Swords, I feel like the battle's almost done. You know what I mean? Um, I feel like you're swiftly moving into this action where you're you're feeling more secure. You're able to trust yourself more. You're able to see things for how they really are. It's 
she's sitting in between those pillars and she's in a space where she's always been but I feel like it's time to get up and move to something different it's time to move and take you know a different action look at a different perspective follow a different lead you know yeah we have the ace of cups And we have the Six of Cups, the King of Swords, the Eight of Wands, and the Wheel of Fortune. Okay, okay, so here's what's going on, Cancer. Okay, I feel like someone may be coming in but it may be someone that you knew from the past someone's coming in that is very unexpected but it's bringing you a lot of joy you're kind of really happy to see this person you're happy that they're doing well that everything's fine in their life you know and i feel like this person and you are kind of reminiscing you're sitting in that nostalgic place where you're just looking at the things that happened. This may be someone from your childhood or it may be someone that you haven't seen for a while, you haven't had any contact with, but you have a lot of care for. Um, that may be this King of Swords energy that's coming through. Because I feel like with this energy, you're doing a lot of communicating. You're you're like talking a lot. Um, after you see this person, you may talk on the phone. You may talk by text. You may communicate more by DM or you know some sort of information because you do have the eight of wands. So I feel like a lot of communication is going on. This may be something to where you're, you really want to take action with this situation. Yeah, this may be Cupid's arrows shooting straight for you, straight for your Ace of Cups. But I feel like these are happy changes. This is moving you into a better place, into a better circumstance, into something that's more thriving, more abundant. I feel like you're, you're feeling much more content. And I'm still dropping cards, of course. <clears throat> yeah, I really feel like this is this is someone that you haven't seen in a while and I feel like you're in a good place uh, you're in a good place cancer and I feel like there's a lot of love between you but with this ace of cups the six of cups and the eight of wands I feel like you're communicating like no time has passed like it's been just yesterday since you last communicated. You know, I feel like you seeing this person has opened up something that just makes you want to communicate and tell this person all of your hopes, your dreams, all your, the things that you're inspiring to do. Yeah, we have the Page of Pentacles on the bottom. Yeah, so I feel like with this person, you're receiving some sort of good news, some sort of information. Something that you've been waiting to hear. They're telling you something that you've been waiting to hear. Hmm. Let's see. The 
Let's get some more information on this. Spirit, give me a message for Cancer. What is this Five of Swords? What is this Five of Swords energy? The Three of Wands. Yeah, you're definitely holding back your communication um, because of some kind of situation that you went through. I feel like you're kind of you move past talking about whatever this is, whatever situation this is. You've kind of moved past that situation. So, I mean, there's nothing left to talk about um, in this situation. What is this Ten of Wands? The Page of Swords. Yeah, you de you're definitely laying down your burdens. You... You've completed something, Cancer, and I feel like it's giving you a new freedom. It's giving you a new freedom, but it's also whatever this is that you've done, you're like holding it to yourself. You're keeping it a secret. You're not telling everyone your plans. I feel like you may be commuting your plans to this person that you're meeting back up with, but I feel like everyone else, you're like holding your plans close to you. You're keeping secrets. What is this hangman spirit? The five of wands. Yeah, I feel like you're trying to stay away from drama. You're trying to stay away from things that may get you upset or that might um be challenging for some of you I feel like this is you defeating a big challenge and that may be due to this situation that you've just been through whatever this is that whatever debts that you paid off or whatever situation I feel like maybe with those debts or with those burdens or whatever I feel like someone was calling you a lot it may have been debtors calling you and it really put you on the defense you know But I feel like you're letting go of this challenge. You feel like you won that battle. What is this Knight of Swords spirit? Tell me about this Knight of Swords. Yeah. It's done and over with. And I feel like you've you've kind of this may be the first time you taking care of something on your own so you feel like it's a defeat you feel like you have you've really accomplished this because whatever this is at the top row whatever thing that you accomplished it's done it's over you no longer owe this person or you no longer owe this company or you know something's totally paid off and you you feel accomplished you feel defeat you feel like you know I'm never doing that again you know that sort of thing tell me about this high priestess what is this high priestess yeah the hermit so with the high priestess and the hermit you've gained the wisdom from the situation Whatever this challenge was, you've accomplished it. And now you're moving into um, a better place. You see the hermit is looking at the high priestess. He's also looking into the star. So whatever the situation is, you feel accomplished. You feel like you've gained knowledge in this situation. That, you know, you're not going to go to this place again. You're not going to... Um, 
you're not going to make the same mistake. You kind of learned and moved on. You know? What is this new love coming in? What is this Ace of Cups? Tell me about this Ace of Cups, Spirit. Yeah, this Five of Cups. Okay. Now, the Ace of Cups with the Five of Cups is the Six of Cups. So, it's definitely someone coming in from your past. Someone that you left behind. Someone that you lost contact with for some reason. You lost contact with this person. And now you see them. And now everything is like coming, rushing right back. It's rushing back. I feel, I feel like... All of the feelings, all of the emotions are sort of coming back to life. And you're doing that with this communication. I feel like you're, this person is telling you the reason why they left or the reason why maybe they haven't had contact. And you're, you're kind of understanding what they're saying to you. You're like accepting a sort of an apology. You know, I'm sorry I haven't contacted you for a while. I've been going through this, this, or this. You know, or, you know, I'm sorry I haven't contacted you. This happened and, you know, so forth and so on. That sort of situation. But I feel like this is someone that you definitely left behind. But this is someone that's coming back. It's someone that you haven't had any contact with. Yeah, the nine of so excuse me, the nine of wands in reverse. Yeah, so I feel like this person who's coming in, the six of cups, you're not being guarded at all. You're not being defensive. You're not they're not receiving any kind of backlash for coming in. I feel like you're very happy to see them. You kind of open up very quickly to this person. It's like when you see this person, you feel like your defenses are going to be up. Like, you know, you haven't talked to me. You haven't spoken to me. We haven't had any contact. And you kind of feel like those defenses are going to be up. But as soon as you see this person and as soon as they speak to you, your defenses come down. Like, whoosh. You know? And I feel like that's what's happening. I feel like you are just totally dropping your defenses. You have no guard up whatsoever. You're very open to whatever this person has to say. I feel like you're taking it all in. What is this King of Swords energy? Tell me about this King of Swords. The Two of Wands. Yeah, this is someone that you... This is the Four of Wands. Yeah, this is someone who was very special to you that you haven't had any contact with. Someone very special. You may have thought that things were going to go a certain way with this person. You may have thought that this person was going to lead into some kind of situation. It may have even led into marriage if it had the chance. But I feel like this is someone that you're very fond of. You care very deeply for this person, even though you haven't had any contact. I feel like it's opening up for you very quickly. And you may want to go out and spend more time with this person. You may be celebrating that you've seen this person. There's some kind of celebrations going on, some kind of happiness. You may be out and social with this person. Tell me about this Eight of Wands. The star. And the star is in reverse. So yeah, you're not holding on to any feelings of guilt, shame, or anything like that. You feel like you're you're letting this person be the spotlight. I feel like this person is
I feel like you're you're starting right where you left off. Like no time has passed. Tell me about the Wheel of Fortune, Spirit. No matter of fact, I need to know more about this star. Tell me about this star. The Queen of Pentacles. Yeah, this is someone that you had a lot of care for. This is someone that you valued. This is someone that made you feel valuable. They made you feel like like you may have been the only person in the room, you know. Um, yeah, I feel like there's a lot of care here. There's a lot of love. There's a lot of admiration. Yeah, with the, the Wheel of Fortune, we have the Fool. So I feel like, you know, with this person, you're looking for a new beginning. You're looking for something to start again. Definitely. The Ace of Swords. You're definitely looking for new communication, a new beginning. Something to start over. You want to go ahead and forgive and forget and, you know, just move forward. Because I feel like whatever this is... This person and you have an open communication. Um, I feel like you can talk to this person very freely. You can almost tell them anything. And you, you feel that. You feel like this person takes a great weight off of you. They kind of make you want to take that lump, that, that jump, that leap. They give you a lot of hope. A fresh perspective you know you feel like taking new chances going on new beginnings taking new adventures but you feel like you feel like it's a new beginning like anything is possible I need more clarity, Spirit. Give me more clarity on this situation. Yeah, the Six of Wands. This person is very refreshing to you. This person makes you feel noticed, recognized. This person sees you for who you are and your flaws as well as your, your attributes. You know, this person sees every part of you and they accept it. They accept every part of you, and it makes you feel like over-the-top successful, you know. This is victory. This is success. This is you being noticed, you being recognized. This is you being rewarded for some kind of event, some kind of process that you've been through. And I feel like that's what this person is doing for you. They're making you feel very successful very abundant yeah so you feel a new fire you want to move forward with the situation you've met this person again you finally reconnected and now you just want to run with it um, the knight of wands is a free spirit this is very fiery energy very lusty this is also quick movement so I feel like whatever is going to happen may happen pretty fast. You know, I, I feel like you kind of started again right where you left off. Right where you've always been. And I feel like it's very refreshing for you. It's very accepted. Let's see. That's you know what? I think that's where this is. Believe in yourself and unleash your inner unicorn. Yeah, I feel like this person sees you as someone very unique. Very capable. You know? Give me some more messages for Cancer. What does Cancer need to know? Give me some more messages for Cancer. 
Awakening Presence. The universe is with you. Wear the cloak of protection and love. Yeah, so I feel like whatever this is, I feel like this union is being protected. This can turn into something very beautiful. We have care and compassion. Choose to be love. Do what is right for everyone involved. Offer a helping hand. Yeah. Very interesting. Give me some more messages, Spirit. Oh. We have cosmic hearts. Devotion, potency, make your life a moving prayer. And we have Earth School, life lessons, soul growth, study, and higher learning. Yeah, so I feel like this person kind of makes you feel like you're excelling. It makes you feel like you're gliding, you're floating. You know, the, this person makes you feel like... Like you're the only one in the room, you know, the way this open communication is. Um, I feel like this person really sees you, really notices who you are. And they definitely like what they see, Cancer. It's very apparent. This person definitely likes what they see. I'm not sure why there was no contact, um, but... I feel like you're you're leaving off exactly where where you're starting again exactly where you left off. And spiritual growth. Yeah, I feel like you've both maybe grown a little bit more with this time apart. Um, this time apart may have taught you lessons that you needed to learn while there was no contact. And expect miracles beautiful and at the bottom we have blessings and abundance so it's beautiful energy spirit beautiful energy from spirit let's see what does cancer need to know another message please what what does cancer need to know worrying I am learning that worry doesn't change the outcome so I think that you may be worried that there's going to be no contact again, that this person is just going to leave and you're not going to hear from them again for a long while. So I feel like that's where the worry is coming in at. And friendship. I understand that a friend is in my life for a reason. Definitely. And we have empathy. I am open to seeing the both sides of a situation. Yeah, so maybe Spirit is letting you know to look at their situation as well as them look at yours to see maybe the reason why the no contact, the reason why there's been time that's been spent away. Um, but I, I, I feel like you're not going to have any problem with that at all. Okay, Cancer, this is where you ask a question. So if you'd like to pause the video to ask your question, you can do so now. Spirit, give me an answer to Cancer's question. Give me an answer to Cancer's question for the situation. Reconsider. Yeah, this person wants you to reconsider, maybe. Give them another chance. Your answer is no. And get more information. At the bottom, we have don't stop. So even though these are your answers, reconsider, no, get more information. Spirit is letting you know don't stop. Don't give up. Persevere. Keep moving. You know, keep going through this situation. See where it leads. You know, that's what I have for you. So if this reading resonates, please like and subscribe. Hit the bell so that you don't miss any uploads. 
and take a look at your sun, moon, and rising for more clarity. And Cancer, until the next reading, many blessings, love and light.